rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. God saw fit for us to see another day. Not because of something that we did so good or glorious. Yeah. Only because of his grace and mercy that abound upon us yeah. that we were allowed to see another day. And all we can do in return is give him the praises and give him the glory that he's worthy of. Because he's worthy of all praises and worthy of all glory. Yeah. He's God that sits high, looks low, yes. knows all, knows can all. do all, yes. will do all. Yes. And we thank him for that today. Thank you. Thank you, Father. We're going to get started with our devotional service, welcoming the spirit of the Lord in the house. We're going to get started with an opening selection from our very own Deacon Perry. Amen. Giving honor to God. Yes. To the pastor, to the officers, members, and Christian friends. Yes. We know that we all should live our lives and tell people and invite them to share in the glory of living with Jesus Christ for all eternity. Yes. Amen. Come and go to that land, come and go to that land, come and go to that land, where I'm bound, where I'm bound, come and go to that land, come and go to that land, come and go. To that land where I'm bound, I got a Savior in that land. I got a Savior in that land. I got a Savior in that land where I'm bound, where I'm bound. I got a Savior in that land. I got a Savior in that land. I got a savior in that land where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land where I'm bound, where I'm bound? Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land? Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Nothing but joy in that land. Nothing but joy in that land. Nothing but joy in that land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Nothing but joy in that land. Nothing but joy in that land. Nothing but joy in that land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. I got a father in that land. I got a father in that land. I got a father in that land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound, I got a father in that land, I got a father in that land, I got a father in that land, where I'm bound, where I'm bound, I got a mother in that land, I got a mother in that land. I got a mother in that land Where I'm bound, where I'm bound I got a mother in that land I got a mother in that land I got a mother in that land Where I'm bound, where I'm bound Nothing but peace in that land Nothing but peace in that land. Nothing but peace in that land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Nothing but peace in that land. Nothing but peace in that land. Nothing but peace in that land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land? 
don't you want to go to that land where I'm bound, where I'm bound? Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land where I'm bound? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land? Nothing but peace. Nothing but joy. Love in that land. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading today will be coming from the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, starting at the 20th verse. And if you are able to stand, I ask that you will stand, showing acknowledgement to the reading of the God's word. Romans 8, starting at the 20th verse. And it reads, For the creature was made subject to vanity, yes. not willingly, but by reason of him who has subject the same in hope. Uh -huh. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Yes. For we know that whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. Mm -hmm. And not only they but ourselves also, which have the first fruit of the Spirit. Yes. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, uh -huh. waiting for the adoption of wit, the redemption of our body. Amen. For we are saved by hope, yes. but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, yes. then do we with Patience, wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the heart knoweth that is the mind of the Spirit. Because, the, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate them, he also called, and whom he called them, he also justified, and whom he justified them, he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Oh, thank you, Lord. He that spread not his own son, who he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect. It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Uh -huh. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor heights, nor depths, nor any other creature 
shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 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 The word of God for the children of God yeah. simply tells us that there's nothing that we can come up against yes. that can separate us from the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we thank him for that right now this thank day. You. Thank you, Lord. Let us find ourselves being more so doers of God's word than just merely hearers of his word. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 Now we will be taken to the thorn of grace by our very own Deacon Graham. Let us pray. Oh, heavenly and gracious Father. Yes. We give thanks this morning, Lord, for, Ooh, your, Lord. for your mercy oh, and yeah. for your grace. Yes, Thank Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we are so thankful for the blessings that we call life. Oh, yes. yes. The blessing that you have given us this day, let us not squander and waste it. Yes. Lord, we need to know that everything we do reflects how we believe and yes. what we see in you. Yes. yes, Lord. Now, Father, that we stand here this morning, Lord, trying to give some humble thanks to the things that you have done for us in our lives. Thank you, Lord. And as we look back, Lord, not just over our life, Father, we look back to the cross. Yes, Lord. And we say thank you for the work of yes. the cross. Thank yes, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you. you for the finished work that your son Jesus Christ done. Yes, yes. Lord. On the cross. Yes, Lord. Now, Father, we stand here in need. Father, we need you to teach us, Father. Yes. Please, Lord. Teach us, Lord, how Please, to, Lord. How to forgive, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Teach us how to show the world through what we do. Yes. Lord, and let our light shine that they may see oh, yeah. you in our works. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Now, Father, we ask that you teach us, Lord, how to love. Please, Lord. What it means to love and what it means to give love. Oh, yeah. And how to show that love only because of you loved us first. Yes. yes Lord. Now, Father, we ask these things in our Son, Jesus Christ's name, because we have no other way to go. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Yes. Yes. And no other way to get this to our own hearts. Now, Father, we ask that you allow your Holy Ghost to come into this building as we go through this service, Father. Yes. To open our hearts. Yes. That we may receive the word that come before us today. That we may render some honor and sincere thanks to you for the things that you have done. Yes, and Lord. These and other things we ask in our Son, Jesus Christ, from Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. The words of prayer. The words of prayer. Yes. The words of prayer. The words of prayer truly work. Yes. All we have to do is just go to our Father in the humblest way that we know how. Just talk to him. Yes. He's always listening. Yes. We don't have to go with no elaborate prayer, no big words. Just talk to him. Talk to our Father. He hears your every call. Yes. Now, we will be blessed with a selection from our very own Deacon Anthony. Amen. Good to be here this morning. Amen. Oh, Lord, what a wonderful God that we serve. Amen. Oh, what a, what a, what a wonderful Jesus, our brother, that we are following. Oh, yeah. Amen. And that's why I love to sing this song. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry old trouble. Trouble, trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. But that's alright. That's alright. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. Let me it. tell you about my Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. Oh, me. you better know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. Oh, after a while. Said 
like it wasn't worthy. It wasn't worthy. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Let me tell you about Jesus. Jesus, he will fix it. We better it. get to know Jesus. Jesus, he will fix oh, it. I love my Jesus. Jesus, he will fix oh. it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Song says, trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. But one thing for sure, I know that Jesus. I know that Jesus. I say, I know that Jesus. He will fix it after a while. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We want to thank each and every one of you yes. for taking a part in this devotional service this morning. Yes. We pray that a blessing will be stored upon someone's heart this oh morning. Lord, yes. And as we continue into this service, just lifting up the name of Jesus. Yes. If you come desiring something today, if you come seeking something today, I pray that you just open your heart and just allow the spirit of the Lord to enlighten upon it. Yes, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you, And Father. continue to be blessed throughout the service. Yes. Now we will have our ministry of giving, deacons.
Thank you for thank you, the many blessings that you bestowed upon us. 
Yes. And Lord, in recognition, in the recognition of your will, we have taken an offering. Yes. We pray that it will be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom here on earth. Yes, Lord. And you will be proud of us. And you will give us all a welcome crown. Yes. At the end of your journey. Thank you. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. And for the young people, if you are in the kindergarten, first or second grade, or third grade, you may go to the children's church in the Rufus Building, Peter's Building at this time. Thank you. Shackles on me. I am free as I can be. You know why? But Jesus gave his, his life. You know what he did? Let me tell you what he did. Jesus, he went on, on Calvary. Where he died for you and me. That's why I tell them I, I, I'm redeemed. You know what? Whoa, I am redeemed. I'm redeemed. Oh, I'm born with, born with a, a pride. You know why? Because Jesus, 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 he's, he's changed, changed, changed my life. Oh, if any, anybody, anybody asks you, oh, just, just who, just who I, who I am, I tell them, tell them. That I am redeemed. I'm gonna do that one more time. There's no shackles on me. Lord, I am free as I can be. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, we are. Because Jesus, you know what he did? He gave, he gave, gave you his life. Yes, and you know what he did? Oh, he went on, on, on Calvary. Where he saved you, you and me. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I am redeemed. Oh, oh. I am redeemed. Oh, oh with the price. what he did. He did anybody, anybody else, else you just who this is what I want you to I do. Am. Say, Lord, I thank you. You know, you don't realize that you have been redeemed by the blood. Oh, tell them I have redeemed. Oh, tell them I have Father, Lord, we come to the throne of grace, Lord. Humble we know how. Just tell you thank you. Thank you. Good morning for life. Lord, we give you all the praise and all the honor for being so great and so merciful. Lord, we thank you for the last night laying down. Right and right this morning. And Father, we'll give you the praise. We'll give you the honor for being so great and so merciful. Lord, we didn't think of a robbery, Lord, to come out here this morning to lift up your name. Father, bless those who wanted to be here and could not make it, Lord. Bless those who are laying down on sick beds, those behind prison bars, Lord. Father God, I pray, Lord, that the word touch oh their God. heart, Lord. Freak them, God, bless knowing them. that they need a savior. And Will Father, we'll just give you the praise. We'll give you the honor for being so great and so God. merciful. Now, Lord, I'm asking, Lord, to bless the preacher man this morning, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to bless the house as you read the scripture. Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. Bless the middle of the staff. Father, we give you all the praise and all the honor for being so great and so merciful. Father, this is your humble service standing before you. And ask you with yourself this prayer. 
bless in your son stand. Jesus name amen amen remain standing for the scripture Amen, amen. Come on, let's give God a great big, yeah, yeah. a great big hand clap of praise. If, 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 if you, you really appreciate God giving you another chance at life, tell him thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Our scripture text this morning will be coming from the gospel according to John, the fourth chapter. We're going to begin reading at the 15th verse, John 4, 15. When you find it in your Bibles, would you acknowledge it by saying, Amen. Amen. If you don't have your Bibles with you, at some point we'll get it on the monitor. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. And the word of God reads, this was Jesus' encounter with the woman at the well. He said, the woman said unto him, sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Jesus said unto her, go call thy husband and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou, thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now has is not the husband, and that thou sayest truly. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshiped in this mountain, and you say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour comes when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour comes and now is when the true worshipers yeah. shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. This time we want to acknowledge our sick, uh, hospitalized Sister Pat Allen Davis, who's the patient at Canada. A very dear friend of mine's mother, Miss Dorothy Carter, uh, who's a patient at St. Joseph. We ask that you would lift them up in prayer. Yes. We also ask that you would lift up in prayer the Griffin family, and the pastor and the brother George Griffin, who is the brother of Sister Daisy Wilson. Amen. Amen. That family has been through a lot here in, the, in these last few days. Yeah. So let us keep them lifted up in prayer. We ask that you would lift up uh, Pastor Earl Roach and his church family and the pastor of uh, Miss Darlene Ward. I got a text this morning. That's why he's not in service. Uh, he, you know, the word was she passed suddenly. Amen. And we know that suddenly can happen. Yeah. That's yes. why we must always be be ready. Yes. Amen. So Amen. keep them lifted up in prayer. I want to take this moment. You know, God provides all our needs. Yes, He does. Yes according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And sometimes when we look at needs, we, 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 we look at it from a worldly, monetarily perspective, don't we? The first thing you say, God blessing us, we think about what? Money. But that's probably one of the last things on God's list. Amen? God is in the blessing business to make the church grow. To strengthen the church that we're able to edify one another. There are times that we are going to need uh, workers in the church, glory to God, yeah. that are stepping forward to do God's will. Yeah. So this morning I want to make it known this morning that Brother Chris Spears has answered the call of God that he believes is upon his life to enter into pastoral ministry. Yes. Yeah. So I want to recognize Chris. Chris, stand up. He's a young man that he and his wife joined us a little while back we're going to you're going to be see seeing him with us we're going to train him we're going to prepare him because God only knows amen amen uh, who's what because I'm telling you I ain't gonna always be the pastor right now it right. fell on Baptist Church amen 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 right Joyce 
I ain't gonna always be here. There'll come a time where I might have to retire, and God only knows. Because if anybody would have told me that I would be the pastor here at Fell On, glory to God, in 2023, 30 years ago, I said you lost your mind. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, we, we, we thank God for Brother Chris stepping up and answering the call. His testimony was like that of many of us that he's been running from the Lord for a long time. Not too long, he's only 31 and a little bit. <laughs> but, but he's been running. So we do thank God for you, son. You know, we're going to do our best to prepare you, that you will be able to walk the way God wants you to walk in pastoral leadership. Amen? Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God another hand. Amen. Amen. So this time we are going to pray for our usher ministry. 81 years. Come on, give God a great big hand clap. Pray. Y'all come on down. 81 years. Hallelujah. Ministry that gets beat, beat up the most. Amen. Have to work with people that sometimes are very disagreeable. But yet they continue to labor because they take the word of God serious. They say their service is to the Lord and not to man. Amen. circle be not broken. First of all, we thank God for your ministry. We're going through the book of Romans right now in our Bible study, and uh, we just went through the part of scripture that makes it clear that the body has many members, and all the members are not the same. But the point that God emphasizes the most that no one part of the body can say that they're any greater uh, or any more needed than any other. Amen? And sometimes people look at the ushers as the least of the least. But as far as I'm concerned, they the, can be the greatest of the great because of their ministry. So we thank God this morning for your ministry. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you that this ministry has been recognized for 81 years. Lord, we know that sometimes it gets tough being on the ushers ministry because of the people that we have to encounter sometimes. Some people just won't be agreeable, but yet they stand to do your will. Lord, we realize and we know that it is by your grace that they're able to stand, but we're here this morning to lift them up in prayer, to encourage them that no matter what, help them all.